Hi, David Smith here with David Smith Radon. Uh, for you that don't know, we're a distributor of radon uh, mitigation products in Central Illinois. Uh, we carry and distribute uh, uh, anything you could use to do uh, radon mitigation, uh, exclusively AMG Festa fans. Uh, we're proud to, proud to say that's the only fan we do sell. Uh, and uh, I, I'm here today because uh, I'm also a radon mitigation company, uh, 21 years, uh, hold Illinois is I think second oldest license. We do radon mitigation every day, uh, uh, at least my company does. And I think the, the most overlooked uh, portion of uh, radon mitigation training is fan sizing. Uh, all these years I've been in this business, I've never been to a course where they uh, teach you fan selection. And shame on the industry because uh, uh, I now know that it is the most important diagnostic tool that you can use and never taught. So, uh, so today we're going to show you just the basics. We've recently been teaching classes that include this. We just got back from a, a state stakeholders meeting where we did this demonstration as part of a class we taught. Uh, it went over real big. There's a, a multitude of mitigation professionals in this nation that, that look at this uh, demo, and we're going to do a shortened version of it, but there's a multi multitude of uh, mitigators that look at this demo and go, oh my gosh, I've never been taught this. Very simple. Uh, I think one of the most intimidating things when it comes to fan uh, performance is the fan curve chart. It's really not that intimidating when you know a little bit about it, but it is when you don't know. So what we've done is taken the fan curve chart and thrown away all the squiggly lines and put it on a flow chart. And we pass this out to, to our customers in their orders all the time. And uh, it very simply does the same thing as a fan curve chart in simpler form. So what we've done here, this is your standard fan that everybody uses eight out of 10 times. We call this one a Maverick. If, you're, if you use a different fan, you know the fan you use most every day. We preset it at an inch and a half of water column with this valve. And so we're gonna show you whether it's the right choice for the home you're in. So we're going to turn this one on, and, and I'm going to show you that the manometer does go to an inch and a half. Let me see if I got the right valve here. Okay. All right, so like I say, we preset it at an inch and a half. All right, so now I'm going to turn it back off because that's what we are reading. And we're going to look at our fan flow chart. As I said, this fan is a Maverick. At an inch and a half, you're at 43 cubic foot a minute. You can see that right here. Very simple, 1.543. 43 is, um, it's starting to push the performance of a, of, of a, of a mid-range fan in terms of uh, velocity. But it's a good number to work with because when you get to that number, you always scratch your head a little bit, or at least we do. We scratch our head a little bit and make sure that in our own minds we have the right fan because now you're starting to push the limits. 43 cubic foot a minute is usually an acceptable number, but you sure would like to have more flow. So now we're going to use the high suction Eagle fan. We're going to, we're going to determine the manometer reading on it, therefore determining the flow to see if it was a better choice. So let's just see what it takes a manometer to. And once again, don't be intimidated that the manometer changes because it's capable of changing the manometer. Uh, it's still relevant to what the fan flow chart shows you. And boy, this thing is just right there on two and a half inches. So we're gonna shut it off and we're gonna look at the two and a half inch mark. And let it wind down here a little bit. Very big impeller here, very powerful fan. So, uh, uh, so it'll, uh, it'll do a lot of work. But we did identify that it went to two and a half inches of water column. So we're going to look at this and an eagle at two and a half inches, uh, oh my gosh, it's 80 cubic foot of air a minute. Now, once again, we refer to that as air, but we know radon's a portion of that. But there's other things that are portions of that too. But So 80 cubic foot a minute opposed to the standard fan or the Maverick at 43. So you've come really close to doubling your volume. Now we all know how important volume is in curing radon in a home or, or any building, but to go from 43 to 80 is huge. And so what we've identified here is that this Eagle fan, this high suction fan, is a much better choice in this situation than the standard fan was. Much, much better numbers are going to come out of an 80 cubic foot per minute than 43, and we all know that. 
What we're not real educated on is when to switch and the value of, uh, of the different types of fans. Uh, that's the reason we make 12 different fans. Uh, and there is the right choice for every circumstance. And I said this earlier in the discussion, but it's amazing to me that in my 21 years of being a mitigator and going to classes uh, for my CE credits every year, this has never even been brought up, much less taught. So this is a high volume fan. We call this fan a uh, legend. So let's turn it on. Once again, the valve has not changed. And we do take this demonstration to classes. So you're less than two and a half inches. Let's call it two and a quarter. Uh, and once again, let's look at our flow chart. We're now on a legend fan. I'm going to turn it off. It's close to two and a quarter. And a legend fan at two and a half uh, is 20. At two is 86, so you simply have to do the math. That comes to 53. And so what we said was, what we've just proven is that an inch and a half of water column on your standard fan, uh, the high suction fan has doubled the volume to 80, almost doubled to 80. The high volume fan has increased it by about exactly 10 cubic foot a minute. But what was the better choice? High suction. Both the high volume and the high suction were a better choice than the standard fan in this circumstance. But the better of these two, be, meaning high suction and high volume, still was high suction. It's so easy if you got this chart in front of you. I answer calls all day from people that call me and say, Dave, I got a problem home. What do you suggest? And I tell them, if you're going to call me, great, I love it. I love that part of my job. But I want you to have your fan flow chart in your hand, standing next to the manometer, so we can talk about that as the first thing we speak about. So it, it's very much overlooked. It is the number one diagnostic tool that you can use, but somehow or another it's escaped the radon industry as far as being taught to us mitigators. So thanks for your time. Anybody that has a question, no matter what fan you use, anybody that has a question, Every fan out there has a flow chart. Call me up and I'll be glad to talk you through it. Thank you. David Smith.